and it's functional all the way down as well so you know if you're uh, into that kind of thing uh Hello people of the interwebs and welcome or welcome back to my weird little corner of YouTube. Here on my channel we do and talk about things and stuff. Things and stuff may include clothes, hair, makeup, tattoos, cats, serial killers, horror films, vlogs and DIY projects. So if you like the sound of that, maybe consider sticking around. In today's video, I brought you a, a new haul from a brand that I have never um, tried before. Rose Gal really kindly have reached out to me and asked, asked me if I would like to try some of their pieces. And I said, of course, I love to try new brands. They also very kindly gave me a discount code, which I will put here. And of course, it will be in the description box below as well so if you decide to order anything from them you will use that code to get some monies off your order so yeah with all that said let's jump into the haul so the first item and i know we're going into like winter soon although today is a glorious day and i was gonna wear today i was like oh my god i'm gonna be so very like autumn and all autumnal yes i wanted to be very autumnal and wear like a thick um cardigan and it's just so sunny outside that i had to go for a really thin one anyway rambling aside so it's getting autumn and winter and stuff but i've never tried i i so basically because i'm tall as well as plus size it's really difficult for me to find swimming costumes that fit well so i decided that i would try out uh, Rose Gal swimming costumes and I ordered a tankini that has um, a paisley, paisley? I think that's what it's called, print on it. It's really nice. It's black or like dark grey. Um, it's like swimming costume material. It's really, so the bottoms aren't as high-waisted as I would like. So basically they go like to my belly button or just under it, depending on how I stand, I guess. But remember, I'm 5'11", so all the lengths of everything in this video I will point out that I'm really tall. So I prefer when I wear um, two pieces, whether it's a tankini or a bikini, for the bottom to be above my belly button. This isn't, but it's not necessarily a fault in it, it's just my preference and as I said, I'm tall. So yeah, this is in a, ooh, 18 I believe or 20, I will put all the sizes here because I can't remember. <laughs> when I order from a new brand, I always try to like sass out. I think we're all like that a little bit, whether it's, you know, is it a stretchy material? Obviously a swimming costume would be, but is it stretchy and how is it gonna be and what? So, you know, the swimming costume, it's got like um, hole to neck sort of thing. So it kind of crosses over at the back. Um, it's got like a wrap, a faux wrap here with some extra material and ruching. It's really nice. It's got, um, padding inside so you wouldn't see nape knobs or anything that you're not supposed to be seeing um, I absolutely loved how it fitted both the top and the bottom as I said if the bottom was a bit more high-waisted I would have preferred it it's really comfortable and what my main thing is and it's throughout this haul is going to be is that I was worried that if it stretches you know when you buy sometimes you buy um, something that's a stretchy material and if you stretch it too much i don't know and it goes white and i absolutely hate that and um, that does not happen with this you can stretch it as much as you want it's gonna keep its color which i think is amazing because so many times when you order something that's you know elastic it's good that it's elastic but if it actually stretches out to not even its maximum stretch it just goes white and i really hate that so i was so happy to see that this isn't like that I can't wait to go somewhere to wear this. I absolutely love it. I would probably, just because I prefer it, would wear it with like, I've got a couple of black um, swimming suit bottoms, so I would probably wear it with that. But the bottoms fitted really nicely as well. As I said, it's just a personal preference that I prefer something a bit more high-waisted. So good start, I would say. The next item I tried on, another summery piece, I would say. It's a very thin material. And when I first opened it, I was worried that it's going to be see-through. 
I don't think it is. I haven't watched the the footage back of me trying it on. Uh, whoopsie! Um, so I don't know if it looks see-through. We will see. If it is, then it's see-through. But I, I didn't, it didn't feel like it in the mirror and like just having a look at it on myself. Um, it has no stretch at all. It's like a 1950s sort of inspired dress. So it's fitted on the top and it's got that crossover. So it's like quite low and then it's got like that wrap crossover. I absolutely love what it looks like. Unfortunately, I can't do it up completely because I ordered a size too small, I believe. So I'm working towards it. I will be able to do it up soon-ish, hopefully. <laughs> That's the plan anyway. But um, I think it's such a lovely dress and it's, I never think of dresses like, I don't know, I never wear dresses for comfort. And this is really pretty, don't get me wrong, but because it's so thin, I think in the summer, this would be so nice and flowy and breezy and just amazing that hopefully by next summer I can fit in it. And yeah, I absolutely love it. You can, I think potentially you could put a petticoat under it, but I don't know if there's enough material for it. But you know, if you just, if you just want to put on a, quickly put on a dress and look really pretty, this is good for you. So f as I said, first I was worried the material is too thin, but at the same time then I realized, okay, but for summer you kind of want something thin. So if it fitted me, I would have absolutely loved it and I'm hoping that it will fit me soon. So fingers crossed. The dress itself is really nice. Oh, length. It's a midi dress, but again, when you see the length of any dresses or trousers or anything, please keep in mind that I'm 5'11", so everything will be quite a bit shorter on me than on the average lady. So yeah, just putting that out there. So the next dress that I tried on is finally a bit more autumnal. Um, it's a stretchy material, it's quite thick. Again, it's an autumn dress. Uh, I think on me, again, the length is a bit shorter than it would be on the average ladies because I'm tall. <laughs> You're gonna be really bored of me telling you that I'm tall, <laughs> but I'm tall. <laughs> so it's a red and black checkered material. Again, my worry was, because with a lot of things, when you stretch it out, it goes white. I'll show you. I think I showed it in a video, but here it is. Look, this is the material and I'm stretching it out. And it does not go white at all. And that's what we like because I really, really am not a fan of those materials that go white. It just looks cheap. It just, it doesn't look good. So I absolutely love about this dress that it goes. It's all... The arms and everything is really comfortable because it's sort of stretchy. Obviously, there's like the little black, I don't know what it's called, around the neck and around here. And it's got like a belt effect to it. So it kind of accentuates the waistline. I can't wait to style this. I'm thinking, you know, thick black tights or I've got a pair of tights that are red and black. So one leg black, one leg red because I like red and black if you ever notice. And I think that would look really cool with this. Um, and with some chunky boots and like a leather jacket, like a cropped one, it's gonna look amazing. And as I said, you probably want to wear it mostly in autumn, winter, because the material is quite thick, but I just absolutely love it. Love, 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 absolutely love this dress. And I cannot wait to style it. The next dress is also more autumnal and also more Halloween-y. I saw this dress and I was like, oh my god, it's so cute. Like, this is a Halloween dress for most people and an everyday, everyday dress for me. I love Halloween, but it's, like, my life is Halloween. <laughs> I look like a witch most of the time. My whole goffice looks like there's always Halloween here. So, yeah, <laughs> it's an everyday dress for me, but for a lot of people, I guess it would be a Halloween one. Um... It is completely stretchy the whole way down. It's like dark, deep dark red or like maroon on the top. And then there's a mesh layer over it with fleece, not fleece, velvet, like velvety bets on it. Absolutely love it. There's a, it's like streppy straps, really nice. And the zip is completely functional the whole way down. Just saying, just saying, if you wanna take it off quickly. <laughs> Um, so yeah, love it. The length, again, it's just, uh, it hit me just above my knee. Again, most people it would be probably just under their knee. Um, 
But yeah, sorry if you can hear anything. The cats are playing outside. I've got five kids. They be loud sometimes. <laughs> so yeah, really comfortable, really stretchy. And again, it's not see-through and it doesn't go white. So that's my pet peeve. So I wanted to make sure that I explain that it's not like that. So I really like it. Um, I think I could have got way of a size smaller, but it's not like too big that I can't wear it. It's just I could have done with like a little bit more and the top, but absolutely love it. And I think it's a really pretty dress. And if you're looking for something for Halloween or around that time, that's not too out there, like not too costume, I think this is a really good option for that as well. Next, I ordered a pair of leggings. It's like black leggings and then it's got this um, detail on the front. So it's like slit pretty much all the way down from like just above my knee. And whilst I love the concept, it's such a good idea. My problem with it, first of all, I think I should have got a size smaller. But again, when I first order from a brand, I'm not really sure you know, the sizing, and I tried to order a couple of different sizes to see what would be my right size. And I think in leggings, or at least in this material, it would have been better if I ordered a size down. It's like a silkier material, so not cotton or, you know, that matte material, it's a bit more shiny. And underneath these slits, there's an extra layer of material, and I don't understand why that's needed, because if I wore this, I would probably wear like um, tights underneath, like a coloured, colourful tights or fishnets or something like that, which I would want to show. But because there's this other material sewn underneath, you can't see. So that's one of the things that I would probably change. So just cut those leggings because I think they look cool. But don't put this weird material underneath. I would prefer it without anyway. And the calves are a bit too big but again it might be because i ordered two, one size too big but even though i think if the if the size was down the calves would still not be completely tight which i prefer um other than that it was really comfy it's really stretchy and comfortable so you know you're not going to be having an issue with like moving around because it's too tight and also it's really high-waisted which i love that's my thing i love high-waisted stuff and it's actually, and again, for me, because I've got a very long torso, it's hard to find real high waisty stuff. So it's always nice to get one of those. So a lot of pros and some cons. Lose the material underneath and make the ankles a bit more tight. And then it will be perfect. Just saying. Just a little idea there. So the last item that I got is a crop top bralette sort of thing i would not wear it without a bra that's a personal preference because i don't want to flash people because they aren't that lucky anyway <laughs> i'm joking um basically it's got like a black part where the bra would be and then it's got black lace around the top it's got thin adjustable straps so you know depending on the size of your boobs you can adjust the straps and to make it comfortable. And then underneath there's a thick bit of black lace, which I just think is really pretty. If you're not really comfortable, you know, showing much of your skin, but you want to show a little bit of tummy or whatever, this is a really good way of, you know, showing a little bit, but not too much. I'm thinking of styling it with high-waisted um, skater skirt. I have some black ones. I've got one that's like a a faux leather one I think it would look really nice with this so yeah that's my idea um the lace that's at the bottom goes all the way around the back so if someone wears it without a bra it looks even nicer but again I don't want to flash people <laughs> so yeah absolutely love it oh there's like hook and eye things on the front all the way down and it's also functioning which I think is really nice because a lot of the times you buy a top that has a zip or buttons or that hook and eye thing and it's just not functional and it's it's sometimes I it, it annoys me I don't know if everyone is like that but it annoys me but this one is functional all the way down and it's a really nice fit as well so all in all yay for this dog and I can't wait to style this one either 
So this was my Rose Girl haul. I really hope that you enjoyed it and you liked the pieces that I've chosen. Let me know which one was your favourite piece and which one would you like to style the most? I'm really excited for the autumn pieces and I can't wait. I, oh, if you want to see how I style them, you can follow me on Instagram, on Miss.Anthrope. I put outfit pictures up there and selfies and things like that so if you fancy any of that kind of content you can find me there also thank you so much again to Rose Girl for reaching out to me and partnering with me on this video they've also given me a code that you can use I will put it here but also it will be in the description box below with all the other links that you might want slash need um, you can use the code to get some monies off your order and I think that's all. Thank you so much again. If you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more of my face then you know what to do. Click on that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss a video when I upload the new one. Yeah, I think that's all. Thank you so much for watching again and I shall see you very soon. Bye!